Hi, I made this. This here. It's good, I think. I like it. It's like there's a skeleton and he's in a mech. And he's he's got he's got hands. He's he's hands with with fingers that move. I think I made him a sword one time, but I didn't like the sword that much, so I I didn't keep it. I'm pretty sure is is something that happened. He's got shoulder bits here. He's got like he's got all sorts of articulation and stuff. He's got he's got legs. He's got feet with two toes with handlebar pieces there for some reason. I don't know why I'd put that. Why not though? I guess. These legs, they use the just two of these um like regular hinge pieces. I had the like ratchety ones, but then what happened was the leg kept breaking because there was too much friction. So I I didn't use them in the in the end of it. You, you can open, the skeleton can come out, you open that part. Oh, that thing fell off. That was not that was not an on purpose. Which way did it go? I think it was there. I think it went there. And then you can open these a little bit and the skeleton just comes out. Boop. There he is. I'll put him back in. That was a strange noise. That was a strange noise I made just then. It uses all these like head pieces, these like helmets from Lego Atlantis. I think there was like a I think like Mr. Freeze from Batman had one of those one time or something. I don't know what those are called, but they're 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 pieces and I just kinda integrated it in with the attachy bits on the back. I don't know. Um he's got these weird weird tendril arms on his back. I don't know what these are for. They can move. They can do that. They can grab stuff. They can grab the camera. Yeah. Ah, his finger fell off. Dang. Um, they've got tan on the ends. I don't know why. I feel like that. I, th I think it looks okay though. I, I think it works okay with like the color scheme because it's like on the ends only. It's like sort of a separate part of it. Sort of like if you were wearing a backpack and the back and the backpack was a different color from your clothes, but it still looks fine because it's like it's different, but it's the same, but it's a different part or something. I don't know what I'm talking about often as that is often a thing. The main reason they're tan is just because I had lots of tan ones of these and barely any gray ones. So I got those from like the Mixels, I think the the series three ones. This needs to go like that. There we go. And then, um, I don't know, he's got all sorts of movie bits. His arms can move, his legs can move, his toes can move. Although that's not really very useful unless he's on like a rock or something. I guess his toes could kind of curve around to the rock. Um, he's got chains. Why not? Why not have chains, right? I don't know. Chains are cool, generally speaking, anyway. Um, what else is there about it? The way I thought of it was I was just like, hmm, I want to make a mech. Uh, who should ride in it? Uh, and I was looking at my minifigure box, and I saw a skeleton. And I was like, ooh, skeleton, that's great. I'm saying skeleton, like S-K-E-L apostrophe N. I don't know why I say that instead of skeleton, but I do. I don't know. Um... Is that, there's a dark tan piece in there. I don't know why that's there. I mean, I should switch that later. Um, I did not notice that until the camera was there. There's like, I don't know, there's all sorts of stuff. I was, I was just doing stuff out. I think I made this torso, per I had these as white. I had these like rib cagey looking bits as white originally, but then I was like, Hmm, that kind of makes the, it kind of makes the, when they were white, it kind of made the skeleton, like, blend into it. It kind of made the, it, like, looked kind of weird. It looked like the skeleton was actually part of the thing rather than just, like, riding in it. So I decided to change those to not be white. That was my, uh, my, my plan. There's my hand. Hello. Um, yeah. 
I think that's about it. Oh, 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 um, these, these joint pieces up here, the, in the arms right here, these used to be this kind down here, like in the feet, the kind with the like three little holes there. But then because the three little holes were there, it kind of made the friction not work like when the arm was in this position. It only worked when it was like there or something, but it didn't work. The, there was not as much friction here. So when I put the arm like up, it would just like fall down because of these, because of these circles. But then I switched them to the old ones. I had to mess with GLaDOS a little bit to get one of those. Whatever though, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's about it, I think. It's not the most durable thing. I know I keep saying it's a, that's about it, I think, and then talking more. I don't know, I'm crazy. It's not necessarily the most durable thing, like these feet bits, this, the bottom bits kind of can like angle and all of it, like eh. They kind of, they kind of break a little bit. The legs have broken a few times when I'm like doing that a whole bunch of times. But I think it's fairly durable. It's, it's fairly, fairly good at being stable and stuff. Okay, I think I'm done. Bye.